into the dream last night. Uh, definitely a message for whoever listens or finds this video. It started off, um, from what I'm recalling at this moment, of me being at this well-known award ceremony. And I started off like in seated, like in the back. And as the ceremony continued to go on, I moved up. I started to move up in seating on where I was sitting. First, I was sitting in the back. And then I was in the middle aisle. I wasn't, it was interesting because there were seats on the right and seats on the left. And then there was this middle aisle. And I was <clears throat> in the middle aisle with these people. And we were almost like we were on top of each other, kind of like you share a seat with somebody. We're in the back, you know, trying to share a seat. And it was just a lot of people just crowded in in the middle seat, but they just wanted to be there in that atmosphere because it was such a, a well, it was a perceived ceremony that a lot of people are into or talk about, you know. Uh, we can think about it here in this reality similar to like the Grammys or the Oscars, similar to that. And so I'm in the middle aisle, of course I'm sharing seating. And then I start to move up in the middle aisle, then uh, next thing I know I'm like on the fourth um, aisle um, when it comes to seating from the front, fourth from the front, and the person I was sharing a seat with left. And I was like, oh, okay, cool. I got this seat to myself. Um, and then, of course, next thing I know, I have on a totally different outfit. My, my attire change. And I had on this beautiful gold dress. It was kind of had the, um, the tool at the bottom. Ladies, you know what I'm talking about? Kind of like the fluffy tool. Um, around as the bottom half and it was gold. It was really really beautiful. And it zipped up the back. Kind of like puffy sleeves. Balloon like shoulder sleeves. And then the next thing I know I'm on the front aisle. I'm in the very front pew. And um, I was asked to sit there. And then next thing I know I had some family members that was sitting there and it was no more having to share a seat like this whole area had plenty of space y'all it was it was cushion seats plenty of space I didn't have to share any seats or share my chair with anybody and we were on top of each other trying to squeeze in I could see the stage. I was right there at the stage. And then there were some people that I remember that were from the center aisle that we were, you know, sitting on top of each other. And they tried to come in and sit on the front row where I was. And they weren't allowed. Security was like, mm -mm, no. <laughs> you can't come up here. And I remember turning around briefly just kind of like looking behind and I would see people actually looking at me and watching me you know and these were people who everybody knew these were um, what we would call here in this realm like stars or people who lived in Hollywood you know um, in movies and celebrities those type of people and they were watching me um, and then I turned back around. It's like I'm not looking behind me anymore. I'm just going to focus on what's in front. So then um, there was a group of people not too far from me, but in front of me, they were seated at an angle towards the stage. But uh, in front of me, their chairs were to the side of me. And so 
one of the ladies called me over there to them. And she ended up being, um, in this reality, she used to be my, uh, when I used to teach, my second year of teaching, she was, she had to be my mentor in school. Funny, she called me a dream, I don't know why. But her name is Yoruba, so. <laughs> Her first name is Yoruba. <laughs> ah, the mind is funny. So anyway, she calls me over and she was like, can you move back to the back? Because now everybody wants to come to the front where you are. And they watch you, they won't come to the front. And I'm like, no, I'm not moving to the back because other people want to follow me and come to the front. No, that's my seat. And I don't have to move. So I go back and sit in my seat like I was on that pew with the cushion and everything. And they had to move <laughs> the mother people away. And then I woke up. I don't, or I just don't even kind of recall everything else that happened at this moment right now. Um, but going into that to share with you all this key piece of what I received from just the dream when I woke up is this. Um, today we are celebrating, today and tomorrow, tomorrow officially, we're celebrating the year of the rabbit, the water rabbit. And this is going to bring in the energy of prosperity and abundance. We're going to um, open up some psychic gifts of knowing. Our path is going to be made straight. And our focus is going to be clear. We're going to rise above what we've had before. And those dreams, those dreams that we never thought would come true is going to become a reality. And you're going to start to see things pick up more and more each week. Pick up, pick up as you adhere to your divine guidance and to the force that resides within you. And to the force that resides outside of you. That is a part of all things. And as you do this, you're going to find yourself elevating from the center where it's crowded and everybody is vying for the front and vying for attention on social media and on YouTube and TikTok and all these other various platforms that are now and that are to be. But somebody's going to call you to the front. Somebody's going to see your your energy and feel your energy and know your destiny. And they're going to call you to the front. And you're going to move up. And you're going to move up to the front to a space where you didn't even know you could be. You didn't even know you belonged there. But when you got there, it felt right and it fit you and you change for the better dripping in gold and you didn't have to make anybody do anything there was no manipulation involved but the seat was just right for you and it is yours and so there are going to be other people who are going to want to sit next to you, um, who are going to want to have some of that, that inner glow and shine and exuding of that aura energy that you have, but it's not their seat. It's not for them. And they're not going to be able to sit there. <laughs> they're going to be moved and you're going to still be there. And then there's also going to be people who are going to try to push you back to where you were before. 
but that's not your calling. You're going to stand on what you are, who you are, and your destiny. So that's the message that I've received from that dream. And I hope it resonates with someone. It definitely resonated with me. So I'm going to leave you in peace and high frequencies. <laughs>